National polling shows that the race is tight, but former President Donald Trump holds consistent leads in the swing states that will decide the winner. After a string of Republican wins, Florida is no longer considered a swing state, but the race in our state is still closer than many might expect. Let's bring in our political editor now, Craig Patrick, who has those results in just one of our Fox 13 polls. So what'd you find, Craig? Well, our pollster Matt Towery is ranked among the most accurate pollsters in the nation. He has for years. In 2020, for context, he came within a half percent of the actual results in his team our team we've been working together polling likely registered voters in florida on monday and tuesday of this week so that's two days after the assassination attempt and then of course the first two days of the rnc and here are the results in florida our fox 13 insider advantage poll shows former president trump leads president biden by six points in florida 50 to 44 percent six percent are undecided or back another choice. Poll has a sample size of 800 people with a margin of error of 4%. Now, a six-point lead is solid, but competitive, and maybe much closer than you, what a lot of people might have expected, especially after Governor DeSantis got reelected by around 20 points just two years ago in Florida and other Republicans in our state won in similar blowout. So here, the good news for Biden is that he's within striking distance in the state of Florida. The good news for Trump is not only that he's up by six points in Florida, but also at 50%. All you need, of course, is 50% plus one to ultimately win. Trump also has a significant advantage in voter enthusiasm. Our poll found 80% of Republicans are enthusiastic about casting their votes in November, compared to only 55% of Democrats who say they are enthusiastic in the state of Florida. So that does not bode well for Biden's chances in our state. Of course, a growing number of Democrats want Biden to exit the race. If he did that, he said that he will not do that. But if he did that, Vice President Kamala Harris would be a likely choice to get the Democratic nomination in his stead. So in our poll, we also ask Florida voters how they'd vote if it was Trump versus Harris. And here are those results. See, Harris does know better than Biden in Florida. In fact, she does a bit worse. Trump's six-point lead against Biden grows to a 10-point lead versus Vice President Harris. Trump leads 49 to 39 percent. See, Trump nudges down about a point, and nearly 6 percent of Biden supporters choose other or undecided in that scenario. And our pollster Matt Towery found that a Democratic ticket in, in other surveys he's done in other states also loses ground. He said that it loses ground with virtually every demographic group in this survey and then others he's done as well. Craig, what's the gender gap in Florida and who leads among independents? Well, Trump leads Biden among independent voters, but it's very, very slim. It's only one point, so that they're really knotted up there. But there is a very sharp gender gap. Trump leads among men by nearly 20 points, and Biden leads among women by three and a half points. Also, uh, other points of note in our poll, Trump leads among Hispanic voters by nearly 30 points. And Matt noted that Trump's lead overall is largely built on that large lead among Hispanic Latino voters, plus his current support from almost 15% of African American voters across the state of Florida. All right, Craig Patrick in our newsroom tonight. Craig, thank you. Thank you.